How many times were you tagged on Instagram last week, Martin? I mean, as a believer. As a believer. As a housekeeper. That is a cat. I mean, like, how do you not? It's not even close. What is it? A, a dang black cat walking across a field that apparently went viral, and everybody um, said, "But I thought y'all said there's no black panthers in Louisiana." As a, well, that video don't do nothing but hurt your case. As a believer, you don't, uh, I missed uh -oh. it. I guess. You ain't you then you ain't looked in your Instagram messages uh -oh. if you, you missed. Ain't looked it. At the Instagram. I don't even have I've been in a place well, where I had no service. I've got. I, I, I will be legitimately curious if like the thought of black panther even crosses your mind. Oh, okay. I've got, you know, some yeah. followers. Wow. I mean, Hold this up. thing is walking Hold across a Bermuda grass field that's been mowed and the grass come up to its ankle. I'm like but it's I, a it's a I have and, never received you tell, more look, you can tell what is that? What is that? Don't y'all believe in baby panthers? Is that a house cat? Y'all like don't believe in baby panthers? The man who has <laughs> believed in their existence. Yeah, right. yeah that looks like a you know, That's a house cat. cat. Yeah. The baby panther. How many times did you get messaged? I, I got bet, like. I bet they some in there right now. Hey, that looked like Sweet Pea got out of the house. I got like thirty. Sweet Pea ain't been that lean in a long Ow. time. <laughs> yeah. And I, I felt did. bad because I want to believe that somebody but found. But you just can't. Evidence. I believe because I do believe they're out there. Oh, they look. Are. I know how many it is. This one, Uncle Si might be right. Eric shared a reel. Shared a reel. Shared a reel. It's all the same one. Yeah, somebody put Uncle Si was right on this person's post, and that got 347 likes. Yeah. And by the way, he is right, but that's not. But not the, in that's that not case. that. That one doesn't you prove. You take a picture of a cat, house cat, way away, and then you zoom up and you can tell it's a house cat. Yeah, yeah the zoom was a bad call, cameraman. Come on. Come on. Well, from come, South on come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, come on, come on. Welcome look, back. Look, a fish hook. Oh, a fish hook, boys. Oh, I thought you spelled my name. A paperclip. Or That's a paper for a big clip. one. That's for a big one. Welcome back. We're back. We're, We're here. Back. Cons <laughs> well, just come back. Oh, I hear you dream what do you hear? that there's been yeah. inquiries about them symbols on that tube before over there. Boy, Sal, si, you I really when they said when they said if it comes up naturally, you boy, you really made it natural. Oh, well, yeah. I, I, we told well, him hey. about it, and he heard it. That's natural. good. Hold on, okay, well, let hey, me move that W. The good out so part about this see. is okay. Is I love telling about. There's a story to that. It is a story. What happens right here? It's the greatest story ever told. It is. Wait, hold hey. on. Am I on the wrong end? No, you're oh, on the right. You're end. right. You're, you're at the beginning. Right okay. That arrow he's pointing at, ladies and gentlemen, is when the word. Left heaven. Christmas. There we go. On Christmas. All right. Okay. So it come. That'd be Jesus Christ. So it come down, so to speak. Yeah. Because it's, it's a down arrow. It's down. Yeah. That to means earth. he left heaven. Okay. He went on, I guess they call it hiatus. Is that the word I'm looking for when you leave and go somewhere? Yeah. He went on holiday. Let's yeah. go. He went on holiday. I've been watching a lot of Bluey yeah. lately. And he went on holiday. For a holiday. He, he just became, he just became flesh. Put, to, put your arrow on the next thing. There we go. This that's, one? That's the cross. Ding. Now, here's the deal, people. He left the word, left heaven, and look, he became flesh. Born of the Virgin Mary, a little Jewish girl. No sex involved. Okay. Right next to that is a tomb. But hold on, the you didn't you reason, didn't tell it you didn't tell us what happened well, on the no, cross. No, no, the only reason, okay, that he became flesh is so that the wicked human race could get their hands on him and kill him. But he had told them, if you destroy this temple, and he was speaking about his fleshly body, if you destroy this temple of mine, okay. I'll raise it back in three days. Then you go there, they killed him, they hung him on a cross. I always like to mention this. <laughs> he keeps going they, backwards on they, me. They keep, they he hung, said, then they go there. They and then he said, but they the hung him on the cross. The creator of the cosmos. Yep. All these trees and everything else you see, he's the one that created it. Sorry, they nailed the out. creator back to a that. pine tree or whatever. Oh, we're I back think here. it was a gopher wood. But anyway. <laughs> gopher wood was the ark. Yeah. You know, Go for what they was all yeah. this, okay. this dogwood. They yeah. killed him on the cross. I don't know. Okay. They took him down. They this put him in a wood. tomb. Okay. Then you look, there's two arrows. Okay. One goes oh. back up. Oh, we're back here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He bodily 
okay, with witnesses, his disciples and apostles that he had chosen, handpicked, they watched him descend bodily. Ascend. Uh, ascend, <laughs> yeah. okay. Well, okay. D down. Uh, well, uh. I just know that, hey, he went heavenward. Yeah, I'm with you. With them watching them. I'm with you. Hey, okay. I'm not here to put you on, yeah. on quiz for English language. So, We're look, good. hey, that last arrow. Here we go. Got, he ain't got but one thing left to do. Dun, 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 dun. Come on back okay. and get us. And look. He's coming back to those that believe in him. Soon. And hey, and I'm one of them, Funny and I'm word. looking forward to it, because one of these days, just like he descended, or, or ascended, okay, he did both, but we're talking about the ascended part. Hey, I'm going to leave this earth, and I ain't going to need a jet pack or a helicopter or a jet plane. We're going to have a change of address. And look, and when I meet him face to face, I'm going to say, Lord, can I take about three months off and go see the rest of what you created. Maybe it'll take me longer than three months. Well, you have eternity. Well, so, you have eternity. So that's what them symbols mean. It's the greatest <laughs> yep. story that has ever or ever will be told. It's the world's greatest love story, that's for sure. That's right. Well, first and first, we got first Corinthians books. 1 through 4. 15. You forgot the chapter. We got 66 books that he <laughs> yeah. recorded for us to tell you all about it if you want to read further. Yep. In the B-I-B. Well, I'm glad you yeah. brought that up naturally. That was good. Uh, well, and, and naturally, would, well, now that it's natural, a lot of the of questions wood. that's natural that were emailed in were how did they get one of those? This one was oh. sent to well, us. That was and that's just a from, fan. By one of the fans yeah. for me and Miss Christine. His name is Brian Burroughs. So yeah. I know we're I not supposed to say to Joe Burroughs. Look, but I know is, we're not Joe supposed Burrows. to no, it's spelled way different, but I like oh, where your head's spelled different. Oh, okay. However, I know we're not supposed to say last names, but Brian, if you're still watching the show, if you want to start a side hustle, there's enough of our fans. <laughs> you could you make probably wrong. drop a comment here, mm -hmm. giving them your email, and That's you it. can. You right. probably I don't know what you'd sell them for twenty bucks maybe nineteen ninety. I don't know what that I, costs. I, I'm not a. I'm not a carpenter. Not, yeah, I, I can make. Jesus calls. was. He was. He and was. hey, that's another thing. Good point, guys. Good point, guys. Hey, good point. He was so, a carpenter's son. So also, right. Brian, thank you, because it's a gift for Cy and Christine, and it's on mine and Godwin's desk. But no. this says hand-carved <laughs> in 2022. So it may be a little more than 20 bucks. So the boy, hey, carved. don't mess yeah. with the boy, because hey, he's pretty handy with a knife. Oh, right. yeah, don't mess with him. I ain't right. messing with him. Back off of him, Martin. <laughs> he will cut right. you. Don't mess with him, boy. He's pretty handy with a knife. Something tells me the W sauce is cheaper than that. Right. Well, so hey, there decisions you were made. There you go. There you go. Hey, there yep. you go. Gotcha. When did that show up? Because we've been getting a lot of emails. It was just here. I don't, I don't, I mean, I don't know how it got oh, here, I, when it got hey, here. You're asking, you know, when did it show up? We don't know. About two, <laughs> about two thousand and twenty-three years ago. It's like everything else. Well, we normally try and give a shout out. That, I did, yeah, that one was just been that's there. Showed up last year. That's like what I'm doing. There you go. Good grief! When did that? When did that? It's been show? here since last year. But it just fit in <laughs> yeah, so naturally with the right. room. I, I guess we glanced over. I just thought it's all. I thought it's been here for let two me, years. Let me put my year. Yeah. I just thought it was, has always been here. Yeah. Right. But maybe it's because I'm right. used to looking at Sai's shirt that's got right. it on there. Well, that's true. Uh oh. And, and hey, look. hey, leave that whoa, on. Whoa. No. Oh. Oh. No, no. Hey. Look at I, there. How there many is. shirts are you yeah, wearing? He never takes it off. I <laughs> had it on. He's had that one on a few days because right. he's got an over shirt over it and it's stained up. Well, is it? Uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh. It looked like he got donut frosting uh -oh. well, on hey, it. Well, hey, there you go, boy. Hey. <laughs> donut. Hey. Are you wearing three shirts right now? Yeah. He probably got four. I'm in three. Yeah. Okay. Just yeah. Hey, because I froze my tail off this morning deer hunting. Yeah, it was at least 40. Oh. Hey, it was in the low It was 30s. 38. It was, was it? low 30s, or I should say maybe high 30s. It was yeah. cold. But it started with a three. But it started with a three. There yeah. you go. That's three hey, look, weather. When it drops below 60, I get cold, boys. <laughs> 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 That's why I about your binder gave up duck hunting. Yeah. Because first, it's too early in the morning. Okay. And then uh -oh. second, it's around water, and then, and then you're talking about damp then. I'm just glad then, you Then, hey, Louisiana cold is way different because I went, I went to Alaska when I went to Nam. And when I stepped off the plane, I was in khakis, summer uniform, and I was comfortable because it's a dry cold. And they said it was 38? I know. It was minus 40. You Good. weren't comfortable. <laughs> You've told that story about how cold you were before. Well, well hey, what I didn't realize is that you can freeze to death up there and not even realize it. 
Okay. You that, oh, I, you just didn't realize. I, I yeah, called. I didn't realize how cold I was. You can freeze to death yeah. and be comfortable. Oh yeah. Wow, I walked off. That's of the because plane. he didn't realize. Okay, That's that not how I want. Well, that didn't have the jetways that you just you know walk into. The I'm just glad to know our government was kind of crazy back then. They sent you to Vietnam via Alaska. Yeah. Yeah. Seems like yeah. there's a it shorter distance. Hey, maybe not. Phoenix. But I guess you fly them little straight lines up and come back down. So yeah, maybe that was the Well, they not only that they give you the scenic route. Yeah. Okay. Did you catch any salmon while you was up there? No. no. I went around my Lars. No, but I doing. actually went back, okay? Oh, yeah, you went when back. When I got the, older yeah. and, and watched the bears catch a bunch of salmon. That's pretty cool. And that was cool. Yeah. And we awesome. landed in a mud puddle. And there was already seven planes on the mud puddle we landed in. That's good. Uh-uh. Everybody up there, all the teenagers. Sound like a green wing have, teal. They don't have yeah, a right. driver's license. They got pilot's license. That's right. They drive them puddle jumpers. Yeah, because the only like way to get there that's is the only way you get there. plane or birth canal. That's right. They're either dog, to get there. dog sled. <laughs> you either puddle jumper or dog sled, Jack. Up there. I hey, and I, hey, I prefer the hey, puddle jumper. You didn't hear it, Galvin. You, you, oh. get, get, give him the mic on that one. How you get to them parts of Alaska, Galvin? Yeah. Boat, plane, or birth canal. <laughs> that's what they told me. That's just what he heard. Well, hey, uh, that ain't bad. There wasn't yeah. no roads up there. Yeah. There you go. Hey. Sounds like a family business. We was up me. there in that, oh. that catchy can. And, <laughs> catchy can. And, yeah. they were, and then there was one north north of that. And that's the one they, you, didn't get, you didn't get there except by boat or plane. Or, and when, or and when it's cold, you can either go by frozen river. There you go. Ice skates. It gets cold up Hold there, Jack. Well, look, let's go on to the first break. We'll be back right after this. Yeah, let's warm up. What's the most embarrassing subscription you found yourself? I just found out I'm paying for a car wash subscription that I don't, I, I haven't washed my car since I've known myself. So can I go, like, put mine on yours? I tell them I'm I don't know how it works. I just know JD's. Look, but I'm telling you what. I now have the app right here on my phone. Don't look too close. I don't need you knowing my personal business, YouTube. Yeah, boy. But let me tell you something. I stayed up exploring this thing for hours the other night because it is. it will tell you things you don't know about yourself. Really? Oh. when look, Hey, look, look, I'm paying for Netflix in eight days. Did you know that? No. I didn't either. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I was paying for it at some point. Uh-huh. Didn't know it was in eight days? Yeah. Guess what else I'm paying for in eight days? What? Spotify. Hey, what's this eight day business? The next one, I'm paying in eleven days. He's eight days. From it's everywhere. church though, so I'm not going to cancel that one. <laughs> Everything's eight days. But day it day. breaks it down for you, tells you what. I, it's a Martin. It's a really good app. So hey, that and that's why we've been telling them, even from back when it was True Bill. Now it's Rocket Money. That's that's why they've been involved with Shit, this. I, I ain't getting fooled by no high school football no more. If your New Year's goals are to manage your budget better, save money, you've got to have Rocket Money. Like we said, they're formerly known as True Bill. Rocket Money is. It's a personal finance app that allows you to find and cancel unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. One place. One place. Johnny D is now. He realized he's got a subscription car wash service, and trust me. He ain't washing his car, so my wife know. might be washing her car. So no, nah, well, it don't. But now I know. Yeah, now you know. There it, you go. It really is a very easy to use, convenient app. I signed up. It took like two minutes. You would say you're just like eighty percent of people who have subscriptions they forgot about or just don't really I'm, even know. I'm your normal person who buys too many silly things to watch one TV show, then forgets about it. That's where they get you. Look, most Americans are spending up to 200 bucks a month on paid subscriptions, and Rocket Money can quickly and easily find those so you can stop paying for the ones you don't want or forgot that you had. Rocket Money lets you see all your subscriptions on one screen. It makes canceling subscriptions as easy as a click of a button. Simply find the subscription you don't want anymore, press cancel, and Rocket Money will cancel it for you. No long hold times with customer service or tedious emailing back and forth. Over 3 million people have used Rocket Money, and the average person Saves up to $720 a year. Stop throwing your money away. Cancel unwanted subscriptions now and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash duck. That's rocketmoney.com slash duck. Rocketmoney.com slash duck. duck. Well, look, while we're, we talked about we talked about this guy, what the, the fan sent in. Oh, that, is that dynamite you got in your hand? It might as well be. <laughs> <laughs> Look, these are meat sticks from Hubbard, Oregon, our friends. Uh, Hubbard, Oregon? Hubbard, Oregon. Yeah. Kevin, People in Oregon listen? The Oregon Trail. I hadn't been there. Hey, that's how we went west, boys. I don't even know where Hubbard's at. 
Continue, okay. Martin. It's in the West. <laughs> it's in the West, all I know. So thank you, Kevin and Carrie. Okay, Kevin and Carrie. That's all. I was just trying to get to their names. KK. Before. Kevin and but Carrie. I'm yeah. assuming. I was looking for the fuse. That these is on your plan. Uh-oh. Oh, you can eat them, Goblin. Yeah. Well, let's bust them. Well, hey, let's <laughs> bust them open, baby. That's Wait. what I'm talking about. You, hold on. <laughs> what else you got in the bag? You may want something else. Uh-oh. You may want oh. something. Whoa, 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 whoa. You may want teriyaki, oh. yeah, let's turkey, hey, teriyaki. or hot. Let's oh, they getting serious, boy. Say the teriyaki. Now, that's some dynamite there. Hot. I just love that the food ends up in my office. Hey, it's a good problem. Most of it I bring in here. I not love, all. Oh, hey, 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 oh if, God, when I have two. Oh, talk if, about if, that. I have two keto I, ice creams hey, for you. Sorry at the about store. that. I went in there and got me some coffee. And there was a chocolate chip cookie in there. The double doozy. Oh, oh the one is, with the frosting hey, in the middle. Hey, yeah, yeah. I that? walked by it all day. Hey, is it in there now? Yeah. It's in there now. Oh, you did. I, well, I walked right. I've walked by it all morning. I look at it. Who knows? Like, mm. On to you, John Cowan. For How's a teriyaki time? beef stick from Hubbard, Oregon? It's it's decent. I can Good. tell. I can tell. It's Good. decent. Good. He ain't got time to talk to you. I can tell you this. I ain't got with my mouth full. <laughs> but somehow you manage every uh-huh. time. Every That's time. <laughs> I guess. H- Hubbard, Oregon. But anyway, hey. Kevin and Carrie, you thank you. Mike? If I did, it'd be off the other end. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. We're about to have a lady off. in the tramp situation <laughs> it, over there. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, want, you want to meet in the middle? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, man. Well, anyway. Uh, no, that, that's wow. pretty good. Is it? There's no such thing as a bad beef jerky meat stick. Yeah, you're the man that like keeps Slim Jim in business. Don't nobody eat those anymore, but you do they? They don't. I wouldn't no. think so. Who's not? No. I mean, there's just seems like there's better options. Randy Savage. Yeah. I mean, mm. Mm. no, I love a <laughs> I mean, Slim Jim. Anything, anything the name should throw you off. But I like those too. Slim Jims. What you want a flavor? I was. I mean, I'm not original sure. turkey or hot. 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 Boy. Although this isn't on my plan, so Bum. I'm gonna have to wait a while. Bum. But I might. Ain't on your plan. You, you, oh, I'm you on a plan. You on something not on keto? Oh, it's what I'm on is sad. And what is it? Hey, I got a knife if you want to use it. I just eat. I have been having only a smoothie for lunch. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. You said ice my cream? Yeah, I got you some keto cream. ice cream at the shop. It took ice three cream. minutes for that to register to That's go. right. That's right. <laughs> That's fantastic. Well, what's it doing there? Uh-oh. Somebody brought a bunch of ice cream by, but they gave you two specifically. Waiting on you to come buy a bucket of minners? Didn't you just Uh-oh. come? Oh. I didn't think about it until I no, saw you. No, don't, don't bring it to him. Make him come buy something from me to get his ice cream. I'm trying to make a little money on the side. The man this is good. Is it? Yeah. This is totally off my plan, so I'm only going to eat one. I'm going to eat two. <laughs> That's on your plan, man. You got to stick to the plan. That's on his plan, boys. Eat two. Oh, right, man. Boy. Oh, it didn't even feel like dynamite. That's what Paula said that time. Right. I, I was, went Who does, Karen? I, I forget what it was. She said, that ain't on the plan. I said, I plan on eating it. Yeah, they, that ain't on the plan, <laughs> but I plan to eat it. There you uh, go. I love it. But now I got I do got to watch what I eat. Do you? Well, you're the incredible shrinking man. So you need me to take them from you? No. Oh, no. oh! You're just saying in general, not not watch how many of those you eat. You got some in front of you. Oh, I don't want any. I'm good right now. Are you sure they're really good? Yeah, I mean, I, tomorrow morning when I go duck hunting, I'll probably snag a few and Wait, put them in my bag. You love to put them in the bag. But right I, now, I'm good. How has duck season been, Martin? It's been solid. We took some people the other day from our our friends over at Yeti. Uh, they had they had some folks down. One was a chef from. Dang, Brad, don't. Rhode Island. Rhode Island, Island chef. Island. Yeah, I asked him where he's from. He called himself a mutt. That was his his line, not mine. A he mutt? said he was a classic New York mutt. A whatever. New York mutt. I mean, I know what a mutt means in down here. That means it's a some sort of mixed breed. A but, cur. You know. It's like but that's what he called himself. But he was good with a shotgun. He 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 killed him that's a couple rare of mallards. Rhode Island. Yeah, a couple of mallards and a widgeon. Nice. And then the fun part was one of the producers from Yeti, she was a female, had never been duck hunting. Hmm. Went with us, and I handed her my 20 gauge, and she killed her a big old Mallard Drake right over the decoys. Well, that's so what I'm go. talking about. Um, it's always fun watching somebody kill one for the first time. Mm. But I, I'll give her this. She was very unsure. She was originally from Cali, so um, she likes eating wild game. She she prefers it over the grocery store. She just wasn't sure about the actual process of her obtaining the wild game. Oh, there you go. Which I can appreciate that. Look, it's not for everybody. I understand. Look, we call it hunting, but 
the result of a hunt is a nasty word. But it's it's a it's a kill, and that that's a that's something. Sometimes some people mm-hmm. have to cross in their mind. I get it. And she finally got comfortable with it, and she said, "Okay, I want to play now." She said, "I've just been watching the game. I'm ready to play the game." Yeah, I yeah said, let's play. Let me send me a coach. Whack. Here you go. I did. Send me a coach. Here's your twenty gauge right here. Yeah. And she Whack. got it. And Mallory Whack. Drake come in, and she killed him. Right. And go. and that was fun. She said. I think I really like this duck hunting. I said, there you go. We got us another one, boys. Got us another one. Speaking of another one, Jacquez emailed in. Just because you were talking about that. Mallard Drake. First Mallard Drake of his life. He's over in Fort Bliss, Texas. Is he? Sent that in. Jacquez. Oh, and wearing a Michael Waddell shirt. Michael Waddell shirt. That's a beautiful Mallard Drake. I did. I didn't know they got them in Texas. Well, yeah. No, I know. I've hunted out there enough to know. They get a lot of mallards out there. But he sent that in, and you were talking about people's first duck, and I was like, boy, do I have one there Hey, there you go. Yeah. I like. Hey, awesome. first duck stories are always awesome. He's from Florida. He's active duty military, though, in Fort Bliss. So uh, thank oh, you for your service, okay. too. Hey, man. Hey, that story just keeps getting better. And congrats on your first mount. Yeah, here there in a minute, it. he's going to say it was banded. Yeah. I mean, uh, that story uh, just uh, keeps uh, getting uh, better. I'll have a te- teriyaki beef steak in your honor. <laughs> Uh oh, there you go. He said one more, one more on you, Jack. Is this beef? Um, I don't know if it was something like exotic. No, it's beef. Oh yeah, the, and the first ingredient is beef. That's I, good. Oh, yeah. Hey, I did look I'm up. Glad something. they said that one first this weekend. By the way, you did what? I looked up something. What's that? Because my daughter got a whole bunch of flamingo stuff for her birthday. Mm-hmm. Naturally, I thought, what's flamingo taste like? No. I had to look it up. Shrimp. I didn't eat one. Oh, okay. tastes like shrimp. No, nope, tastes like duck. Does it? That's what I read on the internet. A flamingo. So if you ever, you know, get get in a tight spot, man, I can't. You can you can eat a flamingo. You can eat, and it'll taste like it yeah, it's like a gamey duck. like a duck. It's duck, boys. Yeah. The problem is there's a big scale of flavors in duck <laughs> that nice. runs a gamut because there's you know you got green wing teal that tastes mm. really really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you got things like a blue wing tail. In September, is tough yeah. to eat. Yeah, right. now he's fine to flop it on the blue wing. They were good okay. this year, though. Yeah, but but then you got them them things that dive. Oh, they ain't, Ooh. bottom they ain't, bottom feeder. Well, they you, need a lot of TLC and distraction, which is probably what a flamingo and, tastes. See, that's what I would consider a flamingo probably tastes like: mm, snails and minnows. And he eats a lot of shrimp because he pink because of the shrimp that he eats. Now, if he tasted like a shrimp, I'm in. I love shrimp. Mm-hmm. I eat shrimp. He probably don't shrimp. taste like a shrimp. Probably not, though. No. He we probably had to boil him. Huh? Like a shrimp? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, that's what I learned. Put him in a bowl. Hey, there you go. They taste. Mm-hmm. I yeah. imagine everything tastes okay if you're hungry. Enough. I'll fix that. I mean, if you're hungry, yeah. You and you eat. wrap You'll it eat. in bacon and put a jalapeno and some cream cheese next to it. Lots of distractions. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Or, or garlic, yeah. bell pepper, and onions. Throw That's the right. trinity at it and Kudos see what happens. Kudos for the yeah. distraction. Them Cajuns been eating it for a long time. Okay. But That's pretty good. Let's take another break so Goblin can wet his whistle, and we'll be back right yeah, after this. Yeah, go get some coffee. Look, you hear us talk about it all the time. We're into getting healthier. But look, we're we're normal people. I'm not a workout artist or whatever they are on Insta. I, I'm just a normal guy, normal job. Does an unnormal podcast with Uncle Si. But it's important to stay healthy. And right now, it's January. We're all making new resolutions. You're eating better. Look, great time to start taking athletic greens. Look, you need your vitamins. You need your minerals. You don't want to have to figure it out. They figured it out for you. One scoop, and you're absorbing 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens to help you start your day right. Special blend of ingredients support your gut health, your nervous system, your immune system, your energy, recovery, focus, and aging. That is all the things. So right now, January, you're making all these commitments. This one's easy. One drink a day. Scoop it in water. Drink it in the morning. It's less than a cup of coffee, and I know you're out there drinking energy drinks or coffee or something, and this is actually going to make you feel better and make you healthier, so it's way better than all that other junk and Look, it is January, so you're on a diet. I don't know what it is. Maybe you're like me and made up your own. Maybe you're keto. Maybe you're paleo. Maybe you're dairy-free. I don't know what you're on, but I tell you this, Athletic Greens works with whatever you're on, and it'll help you sleep better. It'll help you recover better, and 
It supports mental clarity and alertness. So right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition, especially heading into the flu and cold season. It's just one scoop in a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for all the different things and pills and supplements and trying to keep up with all that. One scoop, boom, you're done. And to make it even easier, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash duck. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash duck to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. If you don't like pizza... I can't trust you. I don't disagree with that assessment. But we can't talk about it because Goblin's in here. I'm sorry. I can have it with cauliflower crust. Oh. Boom. Oh. Chocolate. Okay. Cauliflower crust. The nukes one with cauliflower crust ain't that bad. You never tell a difference. Better with flour. Oh, yeah. You can tell a difference. Uh, no. I, you know what's better than cauliflower rice? Rice. You're being rude. Uh, I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, you're not wrong. Yeah, yeah you can't. I ain't never stuff. had cauliflower You can't rice. substitute. Yeah, no. Mm. That won't work. You ain't had that rice cauliflower? Uh-uh. I have. Them Wheelers is on that. Boy, Miss Paula cooked a roast last night. How was it? Was off it out of, of cauliflower? A, off of a deer ham. Oh. Oh. Venison roast. One of them I had hanging for 21 days. How was it? One day. It was awesome. Was it? It was awesome. It was good. I made that Mississippi pot roast thing with ducks. Was it good? Yeah, it was good. Actually, really good. You, mainly because you couldn't tell it was a duck. We got a freezer full of deer meat. Them women in my household has took on war on them deer. <laughs> Declared war. Well, hey. All I said, we ain't going to have to buy no meat this year. None. None. Yep, I like good, good. That's wild. Uh, hey. I had a buddy give me a gallon bag of crappy fillets yesterday. What? Ooh. What kind of friend is this? Yeah. A good one. A good one. I don't have any of those. Yeah, a good one. A really good one. A real hey, good I'll one. You, they were clean? I'll, I'll trade you some fillets for some minners. Uh-oh. I'll make that happen. Wheel and deal, boy. <laughs> well, I wheel and deal all day. Pound for pound? pound? Hey. Pound? pound for pound. Half a pound. <laughs> I'm doing some math. Yeah, I'm in. <laughs> I got it. Yeah. Easy. Got a hold and yeah. think. What's that? Half That's a pound, funny. baby. Pound for pound. Well, Martin, I think we have to discuss it. What? The news. What news? The news about the I-20 corridor. Oh. I don't don't know that I'm happy, Martin. If you don't think I won't drive 20 minutes the wrong way to work every day, you have got the wrong What are you talking about? You ain't seen, Goblin? What has moved in? Our neighbors over in Ruston. Ruston! (laughs) What about it? Oh. They are getting... A business that is sought after by many. Oh, man. It no. was, we were so close, Martin. It, ain't start with, it, ain't, it don't start with a B. It starts. Are you oh, kidding me? Really? They get B. Uh, Bucky's has arrived in Louisiana. It hasn't arrived. I think they're it's actually, on the way. It's under vote. But I if think they they're vote, voting on it tonight. And if they vote wrong over in Ruston, this, People of West Monroe, elect me as your next mayor. I, think I will vote it. We ought to put that out. at Calhoun X. I, I'm, I right. can, I'm cool with that. Calhoun West. I'm actually I'm fired up about Rustin. I'm a little hurt that it's a little further than I'd like it. To I'm be. just glad it's not Arcadia because then I'd have to make decisions. Yeah, Rustin. <laughs> Rustin's really just like yeah, it might go be to a, Iron Cactus, but keep going. Kind of. I, I mean, can, it's not that big of a deal. I can make Rustin work for some beef jerky if you know. Oh what I'm yeah, well, I mean the boys have got to go. Like, they ain't ever been to Bucky's. I got to take them to one. I mean, That's immediately. Cool. It's closer than Gulf Shores. And when you go to Dallas now, you get to stop twice. Yeah. At Bucky's. Ooh. One, Ooh. 20 minutes into your drive. Ooh, Ooh. don't matter. Ooh. You got to stop and get your little old uh, snack at the Dairy Palace. The Dairy Palace. Yeah, see, that one. I mean, I Dairy Palace, all right. The dairy they do have a fried Spam sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> The one in Canton? Yeah. Got a ham and cheese, too. Ham I eat cheese, the spam man. one. <laughs> ham and cheese I will sandwich. say, the drive from West Monroe to Dallas and back and forth, there is some great spots. It is. Yeah. And, and now yeah. that we're going to have- Also a lot of polies. Two buckies. Well, just go the speed limit, man. What you in such a hurry for? I ain't in a hurry. It, just, it don't matter if you're speeding or not. When you see one, you slow down. They just make you. Mm-hmm. Like you have it set on seventy one, well, you gonna oh, tap what, a break what, like mm. sixty nine, yeah, and turn the volume down, yeah, because they're listening, and then feel yeah. for your seatbelt, make sure that thing's still on. Well, you can see better when you turn the volume down, yeah. 
or when it's raining and people get up real close to the windshield like they can see further. Yeah. You ever notice that? Mm. I've never done that one. <laughs> I, I have turned the volume down when I saw a police officer. In the that's because you was bumping to something you shouldn't have been bumping well, to. No, that's not true. That's because you're rolling around Back with childish the Gambino yeah. going. Hey, well, no, I ain't never listened to that. <laughs> Changed my ways. Andy Minio. Yeah. Um, now that it's Crowder, I mean, that's fine. That's cool, dog. Anyways, <laughs> Bucky's. Yeah. Bucky's. We're going to be so close. It's to, so close. Yeah. It's like a dream come true, but it's just over the hill. Luckily for yeah. me, it's like 11 minutes. One away. of my really yeah, good Yeah, you're real close. One of my really good friends lives in Ruston. Mm-hmm. And we duck hunt together almost every day of the season. I said, if you don't go the night before and get me two brisket tacos and have them every morning. I said, I need you to buy them yourself the first day, and then I'm going to take that and multiply by 60. I said, I'm going to hand you that cash, and I won't, I, I'll calculate a delivery fee. Calculation. But his office, he's got to drive right by it. Does he? There yeah, to go. get back on the interstate and go home. See, my uh, best friend works in Ruston, but uh, he's he will probably won't go the extra five miles. No, he ain't going to do it. No. Drew? No. No, he is, he's out. Come on, Drew. Right. He's too skinny. He's out. It don't mean that much to him. He right. might run to Bucky's yeah. or something like that. Yeah. He ain't never been to the center of the store. <laughs> yeah, that hot meat counter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but now we can get them candied pecans. The candy pecans. Oh, mm. oh I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, old buddy. I, I'm not I, sure I if this apologize. is a good thing. See, I done got in. I done, yeah, this is not good for Goblin's plan. But they do have like keto bowls in the mornings with eggs, brisket, and cheese. Oh, yeah. It's a beautiful I had that, and it wasn't even morning. I'll say this. As a man who's firmly against replacing turkey with things that should be pork and beef, Yeah, they got some turkey jerky over there. Turkey jerky? It's so good. I don't know if it's actually jerky. Or turkey? Or turkey. But it's delicious, and that's what the package Uh, says. All I know, yeah, I'm in. I'm I'm sorry. You got me. Like, Even though it's in Ruston, do you think we'll be invited to the grand opening? Absolutely Heck not. Yeah. We've been clamoring for this for years. Mike. Doesn't matter. And size here. We're not from Ruston. We ain't welcome What's there. Yeah. Hey. They don't know Maybe who we are. We're outsiders. Like, that's the problem with Ruston. Terry Bradshaw. You know, the cool thing is nobody from Ruston is listening to this. Because <laughs> we're from West Monroe. Uh-huh. So we can say whatever we want to about the folks of Ruston. I want to ask. None our, of them listening. I, I say wanna, a transplant. I want to ask our fans this. Are there like little town wars all over America? Absolutely. Like how West Monroe, like if you say I'm from Monroe, I will correct you. And be like, no, I'm from West Monroe. See, I don't. Because Monroe's the one on the map of the Weather Channel. So like if you've heard of Monroe, Mm -hmm. most time I just say we're from Monroe. I'm from West Monroe. Leave it at that. But then like Rustin and Monroe got a thing. We're both looking well, at Rustin each other. Rustin got their own thing with everybody. See? Like, if you ain't name? named Rustin, they don't even like shoe drink. They don't even like shoe drink? And they're the gatekeepers. <laughs> like, gatekeepers. you got to drive through shoe drink to get to Rustin. No, nah, we don't like him. No. No. I mean, we're all right. That's why they sent Clay to shoe drink. They got tired of him. He from there. They kicked him all the way to shoe drink. They kicked him to the golf course. Uh-oh. <laughs> I just want to know if that's a thing well, all over America. Like a... I don't know. Medium-sized town wars all within 20 minutes of each other. Oh, yeah. Are we even medium-sized town? I think so. Are we? 50 to 100 town. How many people's here? Is it? Yeah, I don't even know. I, I'd say that's a big In Washington. I'm there in the morning when I'm trying to get to work. Yeah. There's a lot of humans on that interstate. See? That's good God will get here early. You wait till 9, all us died down. <laughs> ain't well, but then you're late. Right. <laughs> that's been two hours of daylight done been burnt by then. Uh, the real reason is Miss Paula's gone, and Goblin don't want to drink coffee by himself because he comes up here to drink coffee with Jackie for the first hour. Jackie's good coffee. Am I wrong? Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh-uh. I ain't going to stay at the house by myself. Yeah, I ain't going to stay at the house. Go drink coffee Might with well somebody. Go, Might as well go build some wood duck coffee. I'm going to drink the coffee at the house. I'm gonna Never leave. ending. I'm going to leave the house and go to Country Corner, get me some coffee, see what they've been catching. Yeah. Then I'm going to leave Country Corner and I'm going to go to work. <laughs> <laughs> How many cups of coffee do you drink a day? Ooh. Hey. See, now you done got the milk. I ain't never counting. See, my new my new job, I guess it's not new anymore. I've learned a lot about the men of Goblin's age and coffee. That they can drink it all day, even when it's 99 outside? And the, the, do you drink cold? Like, once it's cold, you're just like, oh, whatever, and just keep drinking it? No. No, he put it in the microwave, though. Not my dad, it'll be sitting out for like an hour, but like, oh, still a little left. No. Okay. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't drinking cold coffee. Says, I ain't even drinking hot coffee, but 
I don't know how many. I mean, I might. A couple pots? I'd say, yeah, probably. Well, they drink two pots before they leave the house every morning, him and yeah. Paula. Yeah, probably so. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of coffee. Then I drank a pot here. And then I go home. When we get home, we have our evening coffee. That's decaf. No. No, I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that, ain't no that, ain't, that ain't coffee. <laughs> that ain't, uh, decaf ain't there, boys. Uh, so you're like two or three pots of coffee a day. Probably. That's wild. I've just never known I'd that. say probably three at the most. Well, and if go. he goes duck up the field, not, that's another one. Yeah, that'll be. Mm. I'll, okay. take a, I'll take a, however much that Yeti thermos will hold, and I'll still have some left over. That's and then just, I'll make another one <laughs> the first for the ride he, back. He's really contemplated yeah. the amount I'm of right, coffee. Yeah. And all just black. It might not be three all the time. Yeah, you don't put nothing in coffee. <laughs> See? Except it's more coffee. coffee. That's right. Learn something new every day. Well, Martin, I'm going to let you finish that water, and I'll send us to a break because Martin's. I just done got thirsty. Y'all Martin about got all that thirsty. Thing. You ain't finished your coffee today? I don't drink coffee. I'm too young. We got my pillow. <laughs> no, it's my pillow. No, it's my pillow. No, it's, it's my, pillow. my pillow. And my slippers say they're my slippers because it says my slippers on the bottom. Well, Mike Lindell's my friend. Is he? No, not really. But we should I have think him we could on. Be. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to see Mike Lindell on the show, because we love him, he has great products, drop a comment and tag him. Yeah. The Mike Lindell, uh, come join us. Tag so one episode. Our only request is we'd really like our own My Pillow with our face on it. But because how cool would that be? Who doesn't want a pillow with their face on it? Mike Lindell's got one. He does, because he's the My Pillow guy. Look, we've been using the My Pillow products for a long time now, even before. They advertise on the podcast. We use them. They were our Christmas gifts when you're from Willie. That's, mm-hmm. that's he bought much... everybody a pillow in the company. Yep, that's exact. That's how much he thinks about us. But look, they don't only make pillows. They make sheets, towels, slippers. slippers. They make it all. Rule. I wear them every day. Brittany, towels is the best, baby. The slippers are the best. <laughs> I think Brittany's going to agree with Johnny D on the slippers. Thank she you. she well, wears hey, them you every day. He's to his own boy. I, look, I got some of them designer slippers. You know where they're at? Bottom of the closet. You know where the my slippers are at? On top. Their front. No, on my feet. When oh, I'm at home. Feet. Not right now, oh, but when I... I'm at home, they're on my feet. They on don't them, go in the closet. On there them big go. toes he's got. Look, and if you're curious about the my pillows, right now you don't want to miss my pillows best sheet prices ever. All Giza Dream Sheets are on sale for as low as twenty nine ninety nine with a promo code duck at mypillow.com slash duck. That's fifty percent off. The MyPillow Giza sheets are made with the best cotton in the world. They're ultra soft, breathable, and come in a ton of colors, styles, and sizes. They're durable and stand up to frequent washing no matter what your kids and pets may throw at them. The deep pockets mean that they're easy to change. All the catch is you got to order now because they got a very limited supply. There's a 10-year warranty and a 60-day money-back guarantee, but we know that you're going to love them. You've got to check out all the great specials from MyPillow. Go to MyPillow.com slash Duck and use promo code Duck to get up to sixty six percent off and get my pillow Giza sheets for as low as twenty nine ninety nine. Again, just go to mypillow.com slash duck and use promo code duck or you can call eight hundred nine six nine three one three seven and use promo code duck order now. Cause if when they're gone, they're gone and not only that, hey, it's fifty it's half off. I drank it when I was young. What, coffee? Yeah, I'm always drinking. Now, my dad, you I mean, you got to throw away three cups that he leaves all over his store. He'll leave that cup sitting on the counter for like a couple hours and go, huh, it's gross. No. Okay. Oh, coffee. You know what that You know what that tells me? Who's the man? He don't no. really like it. No, not even that. That tells me that when your daddy was growing up, he didn't have a lot of money. Because he ain't going to leave that laying around and go to waste. That's true. Yeah, That's Maybe what that so. tells me. Whenever I see people that do that, you always ask them the same thing because by that time of their life, generally they're successful, but they're still in that habit from when they were younger. Yeah. Don't waste nothing. Back in he the-, the same guy turn the light switch off when he walk out the room. Don't leave that light on. It, it, in y'all's closet back there, he'd go back there and look for something. He'd turn the light on when he go in. When he walk out, he turn it off. He didn't have that money for electricity. Even though it arguably cost as much power to turn on and off as it does just leave it running. <laughs> 
I turn but, the lights off. Yeah, I've reached. But that I, edge. I mean, I've just seen it. I, that I can guarantee you that if you asked him his thought process, I don't that. get people driving down the road with their lights off in the rain. I that well, it's illegal. One, they I, do I mean, it how all do you, time. How do you turn your headlights off these days? You yeah. got to turn them off. Yeah, that you got to be trying because that yeah. little auto button makes oh, them run. And it's pouring down yep. rain. They driving down the road with the lights yeah. off. These are new cars. The lights come on automatic. You got to do something to turn them off. <laughs> you just got to be turn mad. your lights on so people can see. That's unsafe. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's worth. I asked somebody that one time. They said, "Well, we're saving our bulbs." Saving your bulb? Yeah, it didn't make no sense to me either. Well, they've obviously changed that bulb. It's that like, is no fun. Well, how about have your you ever, hand don't fit have there? Have you ever changed your refrigerator's light bulb? Mm-mm. Why don't we make all light bulbs out of that? Mine don't. I know it. Mine never goes out. I've never seen it's always go on. It's always been on. So you must be right. But uh, your ice maker will lay down on you in a heartbeat. Oh, Amen. Yeah. <laughs> don't make it out of that. Mm-mm. Hey, worst one Make it that, out of that light. Uh, worst one than that is at night, and they don't drive drive with them on. With their headlights? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's about 12 one. And, and we got a bunch of idiots in Mon- West Monroe. What are you doing up at 12 one o'clock? Uh, well, poker. Uh, hey, going coming back from a poker game or either going hunting. Yeah. Look, I rolled up here the other night at 7 o'clock. Um <clears throat> I had to go do some things. I rolled up here about 7 o'clock, size trucks at the front door. I'm like, yeah, tell me, what's going on here? I'm and I look in the lobby of Duck Commander, and they're side with five men. Of course, and, I'm just coming and, up here because I forgot and, my peanut butter pie. Right. That anime. And I'm preaching the gospel <laughs> to these five men. Yeah, I walk in, side sharing the gospel with five men in the lobby, and I'm just up here getting a <laughs> peanut butter pie. I said, boy, one of us is really living right now. Well, somebody come through town. Uh, no, I'm with you. Yeah, and they wanted to. Meet me, so hey. And then Sai said, "Hey, how you lock this place up?" I said, yeah. "Well, I lock it up for you, but how did you get in?" Yeah, <laughs> that's the better that's question. The question. <laughs> we got here before the last person left, <laughs> and whoever was one that left just said, "Hey, figure somebody, it out. Lock it up when somebody you leave. here. Hey, yeah. hey, figure it out." Yeah, I'd have just told Philip said, "Hey, call Willie and tell him to come in. You know, he needs to lock his joint up." Boy. Oh man, lock it up. <laughs> yeah, it was, I, I was not expecting a anybody to be here, and I certainly wasn't expecting Silas Robertson to be here at seven p.m. <laughs> that was it. That's a rare sight. But I wanted a piece of that pie. Right. So here I come. Right. I came on back and got my pie. I make a man do strange things. Of course, I say that like it's a pie. Also, left Brittany's coffee creamer here that she Ooh. asked me oh, not yeah. to forget. Oh, yeah. You got to, you got to keep Mama happy. We've Boy, all made that, that drive. Yep. Yeah, so I'm, I said, well, let me go back and get all that. Just so happened the pie was here too. That was just happy accident. But you know. <clears throat> you got right, to though. like she. You got to keep Mom. Yeah. Because if Mom ain't happy. Nobody. She wanted to know the other day, when are you coming home? And it used to not be, God keep her happy all summer. She'd leave me alone in the winter. But now she got on, done got all riled up over his deer hunting. I'm cutting into her hunting time when I ain't. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Miss Paula done got big mad at you. She runs the joint. It's good. But home, I I got to go shoot me a deer. I was just about to call Miss Paula last night. Tell her come my house. Uh, hey, come came. get these. I young. know it for what? Come, come get these young. Ones. Absolutely, buddy. She's right. I know they're not yours. You. I know it. I they, know they're not yours, but I, come get I, them. I, I what had, is it? What I had. I had her number pulled up in my phone. I what ain't for? even kidding. Because they sick. <laughs> they got their first sickness, which ain't nothing but a cold. But like Saturday night, mm-hmm. I slept for like an hour, maybe, uh-huh. maybe an hour, and by like eight p.m. yesterday. I was done. I was mm-hmm. like, no, this is, this is, this is, this is, no, this ain't it. You call her at 3 o'clock in the morning, she'll be there at 310. Yeah. Oh, I, 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 that's why, that's why her number got pulled up in my phone. I said, who could I call that would come stay over here and let your boy just get like two, three hours? That's all I need. What's with women and babies? I don't know, but they love them. They sure do. And I show them glad they love them like their own. That's a good thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Because them boys with that cold, man, they can't they can't sleep. They slept good last night, I guess, because they were so tired from the day before. They only woke up a couple of times during the night. But we've been spoiled. See, they've been sleeping through the night mm. Ooh, for I like three good. weeks. 
pros. Like, yeah, they been sleeping then, like then, ten o'clock, seven thirty in the morning. Yeah. Then uh oh, there's new beds at the clubhouse. Back <laughs> Can't hear them from there either, can you? Mm-hmm. Uh, I still ain't spent a night away from them. The day's fast approaching where I am, but I still ain't. They, I've, I've spent a night with them every night. So sleeping's important. It is. You gotta get them to sleep. Then when they turn eight, they'll wake up at four a.m. Come stare at your face. No, and just oh. turn the TV on full blast in the living room. Wake the whole house up. What was they watching it for? I don't know. Whatever, don't. Very tired. Whatever, don't. Whatever infomercial Sai watches. Uh, whatever, don't. Yeah, oh, yeah. He said he was confused because the clock was wrong. I think he messed up the clock. Oh, he was, there he was laying in bed. He's like, "I'm yeah. awake. Let's go." Uh, he, got to, he got up. He got up to watch some cartoons, and all he found was debt relief help. Yeah, he probably didn't find much value in that. But wait, there's more. Or to get help with his Medicare plan. Yeah, <laughs> I don't watch a lot of 4 a.m. TV. Do you have Humana? <laughs> so ah, does. Medicare Part B. That's right. Part B and Part C and D. Um, what I need to call for? I don't even know what we're talking about right now. <laughs> Commercials. Yeah, you will. That's exactly right. <laughs> yeah. You will. <laughs> yeah. You start duck hunting again, you'll see them commercials. Uh, who? It that's, ain't always Bluey. That's early. Mm. Bluey's excellent. It's like, fantastic. It's a great show. Love it. I, I y'all got watch no, a lot of Bluey. Absolutely. It's one of the few things the boys will like zone in and look at the TV. I don't know if they're watching it, but they like. They they'll zone in and they'll, it'll just kind of keep them at bay for a little bit. They uh, before they're not clubhouse fans, huh? No, Ugh. no, good. No, uh, the t- they watch like three things that they'll actually pay attention to: football, Bl- football, Wheel of Fortune, nope, and Bluey. Not Wheel of Fortune. Uh uh-uh. uh Have you tried it? Yes, I have. The uh-huh. Game Show Network stays on at our house, so they they have no interest in any game shows. Because the wheel normally gets them. But the Spider Man, Spidey and his amazing friends. Spidey, little, and, his Spidey and his amazing, amazing yeah. friends. So that's what they're into. These they're days. wall climbers. Wow. Yeah, they are. Little Junior Hulk is a funny looking critter too. But yeah, oh, funny. yeah. I was thinking you were calling one of your kids that. No, jeez, like, no, Martin. That's, no, I, when he said that, my. White popped up in my mind. What did? My, my grandson, White. Oh, he's Junior Hall. Oh, hey, oh, yeah. Because he bailed out of the second story to the to the couch. How'd that treat him? <laughs> Pretty rough. <laughs> <laughs> he, he didn't land exactly right. He didn't stick to landing? Yeah, yeah he, didn't, he didn't land exactly <laughs> right, and he ended up on the floor kind of rudely. Guy, when you remember the last time you jumped off second floor or something? Uh, no. Me neither. I don't, I don't uh, remember that. There you go. Well, let's take our last break, and we'll get in that inbox when we come back. All right. I will if you will. Oh, all right, Sean. You ready? Email? I'm ready. What's in that inbox? Hello I, at duckcallroom.com. Do you want, like, a multiple choice? No. Multiple I just want choice. you to start reading. Godwin, hey, guys, serious advice. Thank you. Hey guys, for Johnny D. Well, Godwin's here. What 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 did you say? Said Godwin. Godwin, Adam from Pennsylvania. I'm fixing to go to Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Well, no, I ain't. In March. March. It's March. That's March. fixing to. Fixing to. Soon. It's a funny word. Um, yep. he was just wondering what kind of bike and classes you raced back in the day as the flying fee flea. Flying flea. Because every time you bring up motocross and we're all confused, he gets all excited. There you go. I started my first bike. Was a XR seventy five Honda Honda XR seventy five. My second Honda. bike was a Honda XR seventy. No, <laughs> we had uh that Daddy soup one of them up to a one ten, put a stroker in it, and it had so much compression I kept blowing the spark plug out. Uh oh, he sounded like him boys on Arkansas public yeah. land. But I had a yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on them boats, yeah. I had a, t- a Suzuki. It was they wasn't RMs back then; they were TMs. Um, That's trademark. One hundred, one hundred for the hundred class. Well, there was a hundred class, one hundred class with big wheels, twenty-one inch wheels, and um, I had a RM and a YZ one twenty-five at different times. A YZ one twenty Yamaha YZ's Yamaha. R.M. Suzuki, and in 125 at different times, run and then 250. I had a CR 250R, and it was blueprinted, so it was pretty fast. 
What does that mean to you, John David? I have no idea, but Adam right now is pumped. That's oh, awesome. he knows exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> he knows See? what Adam, I'm talking about. Adam, you got for uh, A1? Steak sauce? We got W sauce. No, that's Anaheim oh, 1. Uh, Jeff Gordon? Hey, hey, w sauce, baby. Yeah. Junior? I don't know. A1's. Carmichael. Now he's retired. Oh, man. Who do you got? Man, that's a tough one. It's going to be Tomac or Sexton. There you go. Toby Mac races bikes, too. Oh, he's fast. Toby Mac, boys. Hey, I thought he's just a singer. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh, be that boy. Mac. All right, what else you got, Sean? Baby. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish hey, I could and, chime in, but and, I got no clue. What and, I right. can't help. And Daytona is how many days away? Daytona 119. Five. It's a little bit more now, oh, but you're no pretty idea. close. Pretty close, but we're counting down. About 40 days. About 40 days. Boy. Yep. So day All right, how heavy do you want? New cars. New oh. cars, baby. How heavy you want to go here, Martin? I don't care. I'm heavy. Si? He ain't very heavy. Go heavy. Heavy? All yeah, right. Go heavy. He's my brother. Heavy is the heart. That's right. That's right. <laughs> it's your brother. <laughs> All right, well, Miss Lisa emails in. Uh, she's from Alexandria. Super close. Louisiana? Mm-hmm. Come she join us at Bucky's here. She ain't from Ruston, though. No. Oh. <laughs> she wouldn't, <laughs> she, sorry, she wouldn't be listening if she was. Yeah, sorry, Lisa. <laughs> she ain't from Bucky's. I think it's a good thing. Um, now, Miss Lisa uh, emails in, and she needs advice. Unfortunately, her husband passed away six months ago. Mm. She desperately miss, misses her best friend and sometimes business partner for almost 40 years. Ooh. She does well for a couple of days. Then she gets reminded and cries for a day or two. She's prayed. She still does, but she's exhausted coping with loss. Um, she has some physical handicaps, so she can't get out much. Not really a people person. Prefers the company of herself, some books. Any advice on dealing with the grieving process? Mm. That's a tough one. It's, it's, you know, everybody says that it takes time, but you need to. She can't get out and do stuff. That's, that's going to be pretty rough. You need to occupy your time with something else besides just sitting there thinking because that's going to be your worst enemy right now. I would say you're bound to have a lot of friends. I would go with lean on your friends. Yeah. And then actually uh-huh. grieve. Yeah. yeah. Like I think uh-huh. a lot of times we get caught up in I don't want to be sad. I don't want to be this. I don't want to be that. But, but cry those tears. Get them out of there. Like it, it, it does help. Like I mean, I was stubborn as a mule about that mess. Like <clears throat> with my dad and stuff. And I mean, yeah. You know, sometimes even to this day, sometimes still a, a good, <coughs> a good cry gets you set back on the right direction. Yeah. Like, you know, but we just passed the anniversary of that a couple of weeks ago, and I went right to the tree where I was standing. Keep thinking every year on that day, like that. Go by that tree where I was duck hunting. It's gonna get easier. It ain't yet, and that's been two years. So, I mean, just l- let yourself go through the grieving process, which looks so much different for everybody. Like there, there's not a right, there's not a right way, there's not a wrong way, other than to just do it. Like just let it bump, and I mean, we'll we'll lift you up in prayer for sure, because that. I mean, you're talking about your best friend of 40 years and gone. And, like, and thank you, know. you for that, too. That's a great example. For mm-hmm. us. Yeah. See, business, but like it ain't easy being in business with your yeah. significant other. And ain't that the 40 truth. years is impressive. If Cy goes first, Christine going to have one big party. Huh. And then she's probably going to turn the radio on because it's going to be too quiet around that house. That's true. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm a noise maker. That, that's true. Well, yeah, I, I would just say, and I ain't even 40 years old, so to know what you're going through, I ain't got a clue. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, we we talk a lot here like, oh, joy of the Lord. Oh, the Lord's got you. It's it's okay to cry. Oh, ain't that the truth? And it's okay to be sad. Uh, like when Lazarus died, I think I said this a couple of days ago on the podcast, Jesus wept, like mm-hmm. that's John eleven thirty five, mm-hmm. and it, he knew he was about to raise him from the dead. Yeah, but still seeing his friends hurting, knowing people were going through stuff, tore Jesus Christ up, who knew what was about to happen. Yeah, yeah he cried, so he cried so hard they made a verse out of it. Mm-hmm. 
One you'll remember. Yeah, they everybody can memorize that one. Yeah, they thought that they thought enough of it to write it down. And, yeah, they were like, whoa. And didn't use the phrase cried. Wept. Wept. I don't think That's there's a, a gonna I mean, it's gonna be your whole life. Yeah, it's I mean, gonna be like, the rest of your time until you meet him again in heaven that you are going to have these feelings. And so. miss him. Like But you have more good than bad. I'll say that. You get to the point where there's way more good days than there are bad, because I see it with mom. Like mm-hmm. and you know, luckily for her now, she's got the grandkids to kind of occupy her time. Two fresh grandbabies, but you it, um, you know, it, um, uh, it does get a little. I'm not even gonna say easier. You just learn how to deal with it better. <laughs> yeah, I don't think the process. I don't think the motions get any less raw or real. You just figure out how to deal with them better. And I can tell you, after six months, my mother was not ready for the. Yeah, she she was where you are. Yeah. Trust, trust me when I tell you that. She was right there. I think the most so. important thing we can say to you, Lisa, is nothing you're saying is abnormal Mm-mm. or any, like you're just, just Very totally easy. normal human reaction to what you've been through. And yeah. we'll be praying for you because, I mean, it's tough. That for is sure. For the sure. truth. Anything to send us out of here, Sai? Well, uh, I was thinking that as long as you remember them, they're never really actually gone, okay, because they're still with you. Like Martin was talking about duck hunting with his father, going by a certain tree that they've stood by and shared moments with, okay, because there's always stuff that reminds you, you know, of how good of life you did have with your husband, you know. But it, like Martin said, it, it, there ain't no way we can tell you it's, it's going to get better with time. You're still going to miss your partner of 40 years, okay? So the only thing I can tell you is, hey, <clears throat> my personal belief is your husband is in a better place, surrounded by those that love him and care for him. Yeah. And he's just waiting on you. And he's waiting on you, baby. Yeah. The only thing I can say. Absolutely. Well, send us out of here, Johnny D. Boy, you, did you read this Bible verse? No. <laughs> you just tossed no. it up there for me. Uh, Hebrews 12, 1 is a great one, and 2 is a great Well, I'm just, I think it's just 12, 1, actually. Uh, great one to remember, Lisa and Martin and anybody that's been through loss. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud, cloud of witnesses, witnesses. Mm-hmm. your husband, Martin's dad, Everybody that's gone on before us, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles and let us run with perseverance the race that is marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Amen. We'll be with them all one day. Amen. Lisa, we'll be with you too one day. We're all going to meet up. One day there's going to be a duck call room in heaven. Just like, for, well, maybe we can do it for like 10,000 years or so and just hang out for a minute. Probably going to be a Bucky's too. <laughs> but we'll see y'all next time right here oh. in the duck call room. We're out. God, will take your meat stick. Bye. That's right. Take them meat sticks away. Don't take your meat stick.